this beginner tutorial I'll show you the basic mechanics to create a VR roller coaster. This is very beginner friendly and I try to explain everything as good as possible. If you do not know how to set up your Unity and VR headset, check out my other videos. I explain how to set up the Oculus Quest and the Unity. Please like and subscribe and if you want the full project it's available on Patreon, link in the description. Open up Unity Hub, New, 3D, name it, create. Inside Unity, go to the Asset Store, search for Oculus Integration, download and import. Accept whatever upgrades uh, Oculus wants you to do and restart Unity. Once Unity has restarted, delete the main camera. Search for the OVR camera rig. Drag it into the hierarchy. Create a cart. I'm only gonna use a cube for now. You can make it nicer if you like. I'm going to change the size of it to something like this. I'm going to place the camera rig inside the cube. Now it's a child of the cube. And place the camera to be around the top of the cube. So it's kind of sitting in the cart. Check the game tab. And this is what we will see from the Oculus headset. So now if we move the cube, cube the camera follows. Next, let's start creating the track. So, right click, create 3D object. I'm gonna use cubes. I'm gonna make this longer. So, I'm gonna make it longer on the X. I'm gonna make it thinner. So, maybe like that. I'm gonna call that my track. So this is one piece of the track. Now, in your assets folder, create a new folder. Call it track prefabs. And drag, name this first, like long, oops, long track. And drag it into your tracks prefab folder. Now, select it in the hierarchy, control D to copy it, move the copy, make the copy a lot less, uh, a lot shorter. I'm going to make it a two, two meters. I'm going to rename this short track and drag it to the tracks prefab folder. So now I'm going to start building the track. Select a track you want to copy, control D, and now you have a copy, you can drag it out. Select the short one. And I want it to start going upward, right here. So I'm gonna start rotating it along the C axis, just like this. And control D to copy, drag it out upwards a little bit more control D to copy and you can spend more time making it line up than I do I'm just gonna do this fast now so I made it to the top of my first hill I'm gonna start rotating it down Keep control D in to copy.
now I made it to the bottom of the hill. So I'm gonna start flattening, flattening it out. So let's place the cart on the track. Make sure the forward of the camera rig, which is the blue, is facing the same direction as the track. So select the OVR camera rig, spin it along the Y axis, in my case 90 degrees. Check the game tab, and that's correct. And place the cart better like so now we want to make the cart move along the track but first we want to make sure that forward of the cart aka the blue arrow is pointing along the track it will make this a little bit easier so i'm gonna spin the cart until we got that behavior just like that i'm not gonna reshape it but you understand you might have to reshape it if you like by the way, blue is forward. Now, while the cart is selected, add component, move cart, see new script, create an ad. So inside the script, we want a list of waypoints that the cart is traveling towards. Uh, and a list is an array in uh, C sharp or in any programming language, really. So public game object, array, waypoints. First, let's create an empty game object so that we can hide all the tracks. Select all the tracks, drag them into the empty game object. Now we can hide them like this and call this tracks. Create another empty game object call it waypoints and inside here we create new empty game object waypoint select this waypoint and drag it to be the first right under the cart now just control D to copy this Drag it along the track, control D to copy, control D and keep moving them alongside the track. Just like this, I'm gonna do this for the whole track. So all my waypoints are finished. They are all placed. So select the cube. I can rename this to cart. Now we have this waypoints array here, it's empty. So select all the way, first lock it. Now this will stay, although we click something else here. Select all the waypoints, drag them into the waypoints array, and now it's populated. So back in the script, let's create a private int index. This is just a number to keep track of what waypoint we are at. And let's get the distance between the cart and the next waypoint in the list of waypoints. So, so what I'm doing here is the transform.position since this is this script is placed on the cart that is this transform dot position it's these values and that's the position of the cart in the world we're checking that compared to the transform dot position value of the first waypoint in this case 
we do not want to use the zero we want to use the index which starts at zero so waypoints dot uh, waypoints zero dot transform dot position will be this one this waypoint is the first one and it's I'm gonna unlock this it's these values these transform dot position values so distance will be the distance between the cart and the next waypoint and if this distance is less than let's say 0.5 meters then we want to increase the index so index plus plus this will make index increase index by one and we also want to move the cart right here so first do a float step will be the speed times time dot delta time but we do not have a speed variable yet so let's do it private float speed equals let's try 10 for now below here we want to do the transform dot position which is the cart position move towards oops so here we go we'll do transform dot position and this is the target position which then is waypoints index And last here we put the step which is the speed and this needs to be the transform dot position value just like that and if we test this now it will work but not very great so you see the card is moving It is not tilting as we like, but it is moving. So to get the car to tilt, we want to do transform dot look at, and we want it to look at the next waypoint. So we can just copy this, just like that. that works great so now we want to make the cart go faster and slower depending on its tilt along the x-axis so the lower the tilt the slower you want to go and a higher tilt as you can see here the faster we would like to go so to do this we will update or manipulate this speed variable which is used here to calculate the step uh depending on the angle of the cart so we can do it like this now here we will have the x tilt value aka this value So I'm gonna keep this simple. You can make this uh, more advanced if you like, and I tell you how. So, if angle is larger than 10, then speed equals 20. Else, if angle is less than 10 and angle is more than zero speed equals 10 else if angle is less than zero speed equals 5 now to extend this 
you just make more else if statements and go more granular with your approach. You can have you can expand this to make it a lot longer. And of course, this is to, supposed to be rotation. It's the rotation value we want, not the position. So if we test this now, you see we got very jerky motion, but we will fix that. The speed seems to work fine. So inside the script, we want to remove this look at and exchange it for this instead. This code will make it move a lot smoother instead of looking right away or jerky as you see. So let's test again. And that's a lot smoother. Now I have not put any love into this track as you can see. You should. And that's good. You see here we crash at the end because there's no more waypoints. So we need to fix that in the script as well. So to make this simple I'm just gonna wrap this whole function inside an if statement and we only want to this to execute if index is less than waypoints dot length minus one which will be the last waypoint so at now at the last waypoint we will just stop If you want to do something else when you reach the last waypoint, you can just do it right here. Thank you for watching guys. That is everything for this project. I will now style it a little bit and make it look better uh, for the intro and uh, if you want you can download my full project from patreon.com you can also find all the scripts uh, please like and subscribe and support me on patreon thank you for watching